Hi and welcome to Chindu.org YouTube channel. In this video, let's learn all about VLOOKUP. We are going to understand what is VLOOKUP, how to use it, what to do when you get an error with VLOOKUP and how to overcome some of the limitations of VLOOKUP. Let's say you have some sort of data like uh, a bunch of salespersons and their uh, various types of data parts like how many customers they had, what is their total sales amount and how much profit or loss they have generated. Now looking at this table if you were to answer a question like what is the total sales of uh, Jonathan you could of course because this is a small table you could simply look at the table and then just simply go to the row where Jonathan is highlight that and then see that the sales amount is one thirteen hundred dollars sixteen thirteen sixteen but if you were to have a very large table then that kind of scanning is not possible you could of course apply a filter and filter by Jonathan and get it but that's not always fun because if you were to get a follow-up question oh so what about Jimmy or what about Juno or what about Josh uh, you would have to apply these filters constantly to get the answer whereas using VLOOKUP you can ask Excel hey look at my table uh, find out the salesperson or find out the person or find out the record that has Jonathan in it and then get me the corresponding sales data that's what VLOOKUP does let me show you how to write your very first VLOOKUP formula I'll just zoom up the data range and collapse the ribbon so we have more space uh, we can use VLOOKUP like this so you can just simply start off by typing equal to VL and then we look up formula gets highlighted in blue color press tab and that kind of fills up the whole thing for you what do you want to find we want to find Jonathan where is your data our data is in this range so I'll select this range B4 through E16 then the third parameter is once Jonathan is found what is the portion that you want you want the sales data which is in third column salesperson is first column one two three so we will give the third column the last parameter is the most important one for VLOOKUP this one tells VLOOKUP whether you want an exact match or an approximate match we want an exact match for Jonathan so this will be false in most business cases uh, the parameter the last of last parameter for VLOOKUP will always be false you will use true or omit this completely only when your data is arranged in a sort order it could be alphabetical or number sort order but once that sort order is applied you could use true uh, but uh, you may not get correct results so you will get the answer 1316 which corresponds to Jonathan sales now if I want to find someone else's values all I have to do is come back and change this or we could write the name of the person in a cell like Jonathan and then ask VLOOKUP to do a lookup based on that cell value so whatever is in G6 go up and look it in the data get me the third column with an exact match that way if I want to ch get the data for Jamie or or Jimmy or Joe I'll get it of course there's no Joe in the data that brings us to the second problem which is whenever you do a lookup if lookup finds the answer it will give you the answer but if it cannot look at the answer then it will give you this hash na what does this hashtag na mean it means we lookup has not succeeded in locating uh, whatever you're trying to find to avoid this kind of an error you could also use a formula called as if error so you can say if error if my vlookup has an error then print a friendly message don't give me these hashtags instead print a message that says something like uh, cannot find or not available that way you will your users whoever you are building the spreadsheet for uh, they will have a pleasant experience okay so this is uh, a very very basic introduction of VLOOKUP now let's take a look at uh, how this formula is working one of the VLOOKUP formulas uh, let's take a look at this one the way this works is VLOOKUP will take a range of data and it will always look up in the very first column so we said B4 through E16 so that's the range and VLOOKUP will always look in the leftmost column 
So it will find the name here and then give you the answers from any of the other columns. Okay, you can use VLOOKUP with cell ranges like this or you can also use VLOOKUP with tabular data. Let me just copy this data here, copy and then go down further somewhere, paste it here as values and then turn this into a table. I can just select the table and then press Ctrl T uh, to turn this into a table. This is basically your table data. So in uh, each column is, is formatted and then everything is there. Uh, we'll quickly select any cell go to design tab and then here I can give this table a name by default it could be called table 1 or table 74 we will call this as sales okay so our table has now the sales name and I can use VLOOKUP formula again I can just type the name that I want to look up and then I can say VLOOKUP that value in my sales table and then get me the data this time let's go and get the number of customers so it is second column false and we'll get the answer for Jesse which is six customers there you go so this is uh, how you can apply VLOOKUP with both tables and uh, ranges of data usually business data comes in a table format so it's best to turn that into a table that way your formula is more uh, readable and you can also write it easily you can just imagine what you are trying to do and then write it whatever you are trying to look up where it is what column you want and you want an exact output okay so that's what we look up is now we saw what happens if there is an error but what if I want to answer a question that is slightly different for example I want to know which salesperson had the sales 2133 whose total sales is 2133 that means the lookup should happen in this column it should find the 2133 here and then give me the corresponding name which is Jamie. Now in this case we cannot use VLOOKUP because VLOOKUP can only look up in that column. So if I if I were to try VLOOKUP uh, 2133 in sales and then get me the name from first column it doesn't really work. It, 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 it's trying to look for a salesperson's name who which is 2133 and then it, it, it could not so it, it doesn't really work. To do this kind of a lookup where the value you want to look up is somewhere in the middle and the results you want could be either left or right we use a different type of formula these formulas are called as index plus match formulas okay let's take a quick look at how to do that we'll start off by writing match formula what match formula does is it takes a value and then it looks it up in a list so we say match up 2133 in the net sales column so we'll say sales table net sales column uh, net sales column there's a space in the beginning that's why it wouldn't show up but we'll write it like that so match up sales uh, net sales in g3 in 30 and then this is also an exact match so here we will use a zero as a parameter and then this will tell me that 2133 is the fourth value if you if you were to select this and then see 1 2 3 4 2133 is the fourth value in this list if I can type 1624 I'll get 9 because that's the ninth value in the list okay just undo it so we, we, we stick to 2133 so once we find this this is the first part of the puzzle we, we found the answer through match we can then use a formula called index because the sale is in the fourth value say is the fourth row the name will also be in the fourth row corresponding row so we can ask Excel hey what's the fourth value in the salesperson column so this is we can do it this with index formula sales salesperson 4 and we get the answer Jamie so this is how you can uh, get the answer if, if the value that you want to look up is somewhere in the middle you, you don't have to write this in two cells you can just combine the whole thing into one cell we'll start off by saying index what do you want to extract which is we want to extract the salesperson where is it it would be found by the match match 2133 in the sales table net sales column with an exact match so we we do that so this is how we take the match formula put it inside the index formula and then we get the result in one shot so this structure is commonly referred as index match you can use VLOOKUP if, if your data is structured like this and you just want to look up in the left column. 
whereas if you if you want if you want to look up anywhere in the middle of the table then you can use index plus match formulas both of these formulas are really powerful and transformative they help you go from a person who is just using filters and and manually scans the lists of data to someone who can smartly look up any amount of data and quickly answer questions about it okay of course we are not always answering simple questions like what's the total sales uh, occasionally we have to uh, analyze data and answer some important questions like for example what is the total sales per customer for Jamie but in order to answer such a question you must first uh, be able to get the sales information customer information divide one with another to get the sales per customer data so you can do all of those things once you're familiar with VLOOKUP and index plus match formulas that is why I think uh, if you want to be a good analyst you a person who is good with data and analysis uh, using Excel then learning VLOOKUP and index match formulas is critical like once you learn them you you will see how you approach spreadsheets changes dramatically so I hope you found this video useful if you are feeling hungry for more kind of VLOOKUP formulas and how to do various other things with your data then check out the description uh, there is a comprehensive VLOOKUP guide that you can access from the description check out that page and I'm sure you will love it thank you so much for watching this video if you like it give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel talk to you soon bye bye